Happy Thumbs Gaming. Big show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 7 walkthrough on Sniper Elite V2 with 10 of 10 gold and 4 of 4 bottles. Alright, first let me go ahead and say, damn it Corey, damn you, and I say damn you Corey because old V-Dub Nub doing the clear out, helping me out with this mission, accidentally picked up a gold bar. It happens to be the third gold bar in the progress, so we start off one gold bar off. So as you can see here, we are at 72 on our count, when in fact that is the first one, and actually 71. So we apologize for that. So feel free to leave in the comments, damn you, Corey, because it's all his fault. That's twice today. He's messed some stuff up for us. We'll forgive him, though. He's been a, a great help over here, so... After bagging Cory and getting gold bar number one, we will cross over to this little nook and grab gold bar number two. Not to be confused by the three down below. And we will keep on with where the mission requires us to go, past this awesome car here. And we will take a peek down this little alleyway. And after a few misses, we'll go ahead and tag the second bottle. If you missed the first one, it uh, was behind us on a pole <laughs> out in the middle. And here is where the third gold bar would be. It's right about where I'm standing right now. So if you have not already stumbled across it like Corey did, then that is where you will find gold bar number three. So now that we are caught back up and at 73 gold bars total, we're going to advance under the little subway and move on over and start playing subway searching because we got a couple subways to check out. A couple gold bars hidden down now. Cut across this giant area here. And again, as always, we've got it sped up just a wee bit. And we've also gone ahead and cleared out all the baddies, so there is no confusion. At the end, there is usually a few guys that we'll have to mop up, and we'll finish the level out. But uh, this walkthrough is mainly for the collectibles. So as we pick up gold bar number four for the level 74 for the game, we'll head back up to this other side and go right back down this other subway. Or what was once a subway. Grab number 75. Or number 5 for the level. So halfway done already. And we've got a couple bottles under our belt for this one too. So we'll cut right back up and climb back up on this lovely establishment that once was. Grab the gold bar. Alright, after a quick peek at the map, we'll hop down and cut across and do some more climbing. Make our way to the top of this apartment complex that has a gaping hole in it. We're going to climb all the way to the top. You have to make a little detour around this apartment room here. And keep going all the way to the top. And over here in the corner where the brick wall is, you'll find it tucked in behind a couple boards. It's almost invisible until you're damn near standing right on it. And that's going to be goal bar number 7 for the level. 77 if you're following along. All right. Now we'll head right back down all the way to the basement. Right by the basement, man. If you haven't thrown up already, I applaud you. It was pretty ridiculousness. Alright, and then we're going to cut all the way across and come stand on this corner here. We're going to knock out a couple bottles. Take a couple steps over and look on over to. Probably didn't even have to move, really. 
Watch out! All right, so little note here on this one. There's a certain amount of the story progress that you have to accomplish before this doorway will open and allow you to get in here. Uh, basically, you have to go across the courtyard where we just were, almost. There's a door with a little icon. You have to go in there. It's like the second objective you have to do. So once you accomplish that, you get rushed by some more guys in the courtyard. Once you clear them out, you can go ahead and advance into this room that we are currently standing in. We are counting those gold bars up. And speaking of up, let's go up these stairs. And we're going to go pretty much all the way to the top and trigger this cutscene. Conveniently, somebody has tossed the map that we need in the fire. But luckily we got there in time. Alright. And after the cutscene goes, you can make your way all the way up to the top. You want to take a right and go into this room and then on the shelf on here. Alright, and then it's kind of a little sniper duel. Sniper Doodle Dandy. Take a long look at this map. Because that's where it is. Just in case you forgot. Come on, where you at? Where you at? There you are. Now you's dead. Took me a while to find that guy. Snipers are kind of good. They, they'll take a shot and then they'll run and hide. It's cool. Some of them will sit there. Just flash ya. But some of them actually have a little bit of brains. Until my bullets find them. Oh. Shouldn't have flashed that light, a-hole. Yeah, I don't understand. Some of these guys have, like, flak jackets on or something, too. Because that guy clearly just took one right in the upper torso. But we'll send a repeater in to go ahead and finish it off. And you just kind of make your way and progress here along this path. And you're going to want to duck in and head to this back right corner for the final piece of gold. Lucky us. Number 80. That's glorious. All right. Now, little note here, too, if you're going for the platinum, there is a trophy here. Uh, I believe it's called Rooftop Sniper or something like that. Uh, if you check your trophy list, it, uh, and I'll put it in the description as well, there is a trophy for killing all the Russian snipers on the rooftops. So I think this just simply requires you to stay and shoot them all. I mean, I don't think there's anything special other than that that you have to accomplish. But at the same time, one could panic or just want to get the hell out of here and run and trigger the cutscene that would end the level. So, again, if you're looking for all those trophies, which is probably why you're here to begin with, you might use that little piece of advice and stick around and knock out all these guys. Besides, they're all trying to kill you. You just gonna let them shoot at you and get away with it? Sheesh. Alright, so as we pretty much weed out all these guys, I honestly did get this uh, trophy on my first playthrough. And I probably could have used my super uber editing skills to work that in somehow after a cinematic scope scene. But, yeah, I got games like Starhawk and some demos to review. Since Mark hasn't put any videos out yet. But he says he's working hard, so hooray. 
All right, peeps, that's going to do it. 10 of 10 gold, 4 of 4 bottles, and mission complete. Getting ever so close. Got only a couple levels left, couple bottles, couple gold bars, and we'll get you there soon enough. So thanks for tuning in. That's Sniper Elite V2 Level 8 Walkthrough. Comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Get on over to Twitter. Follow us so you can be a part of those contests we're going to be doing soon. And uh, as always, until next time.